Oh man, guys. This is a big one right here. After I saw it, it is going to be Deadpool. That's right, guys. I saw this in IMAX, in the IMAX theater. I just got home from seeing the movie. And, um, I saw five reviews on this, and they were all positive. Like, a few of them were perfect scores. I saw Slasher Movie Reviewers, Blaze the Movie Fans, Chris Stuckman's, um, Jeremy Johns, of course. Um... Damn it, who else? Okay. Oh yeah, OCP Communications. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, and they were just saying how awesome this movie was, and how kick-ass, and badass, it, and they were all happy that it's an R-rated movie now. And they were right. This movie fucking kicked ass. Alright, now let me explain the plot of the movie. Basically, you have Deadpool. This is basically like a romantic comedy action movie kind of thing. And then basically what happens is, you know, um, you got this guy named uh, Wade Wilson. And what happens is he tells a story, like a backstory, and then about how he became Deadpool. Like, like he has cancer, and then his... They found a way for him to be cured and, you know, to make his body all fucked up and crazy-like. So he has to wear masks and then his girlfriend gets kidnapped and they have to go get her back. And that's mainly the plot. This movie is probably the best R-rated superhero movie I've ever seen. This movie had motherfucking action, motherfucking comedy, motherfucking romance, and motherfucking everything. And the motherfucking jokes... This movie had fucking everything. Alright. And the comedy in this movie is pretty much how comedy works. Not like most of the modern Nickelodeon shows that come out nowadays. This is comedy right here. And, of course, this is how you make an action movie funny. Unlike you have shitty Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... Transformers sequels, but yeah, pretty much this movie had everything I wanted it to be. It was violent. It had a lot of language. Definitely don't take. Definitely not something that should be recommended for. Like I know I I, I am fifteen, and um, I did see the movie, but I see R-rated movies all the time, but. You know, I'm, 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 I'm used to this kind of stuff, but, um, yeah, this movie had very funny humor, the action, and this movie really, like, really, I could go back and see it right now, because this movie was super funny and super entertaining. The jokes, the jokes were done perfectly. Ryan Reynolds definitely kicked ass as Deadpool in this movie. This is one of my favorites of the year, um... So far, definitely a lot better than fucking Horm of the North. Which you guys already know how I feel about that movie. Ugh, what a piece of garbage. That wasn't even funny. This is funny, though. Probably the best R-rated superhero movie since Kick-Ass. This is probably my favorite R-rated superhero movie. Like, why can't we get more superhero movies like this? Alright, and thank you, Fox, for not fucking this up, just like you did with Fantastic Four. Thank you, Fox. I can now trust you with... Well, you guys did do the X-Men movies, and most of them were pretty good, unlike Origins and The Last Stand, pretty much. But yeah, guys, this was full of action, and the acting was perfectly well done, and really good score and dialogue, and the makeup effects for Deadpool, and the CGI... Um, when the CGI was needed, the CGI was done really well. I thought it had, um, the cinematography was very well made, and definitely, definitely a perfect film to watch on Valentine's Day. You guys definitely have to check this film out. And Ryan Reynolds was fucking funny in this movie. It was hilarious. Check this movie out. I definitely give this movie 5 out of 5. 
Alright, so pretty much check this movie out. If you haven't, I recommend it. See you guys later. Word out.